The future of the industry is changing every year in the next five years. With the integration of the video on the internet into your TV screen in your living room, and all the TVs being made today are internet compatible, meaning that YouTube is gonna be a viable TV network. Google is getting into television, and this is in my business. Uh, cable TV is in trouble, you know, because you can sit right now and watch a lot of TV shows on YouTube. You know, and once you can get YouTube into your TV set, I got a friend that doesn't even have TV. All they do is they watch YouTube and Netflix, you know, and they get them on their TV set. And now the quality is getting so good, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. So that's in my business. This is really gonna change things. The remote, I work a lot with Mark Cuban at HDNet, who's one of the real brilliant minds in this business. And his talk is the remote's getting smarter. The remote is almost gonna become like a computer keyboard at times, because now we're gonna check your email and read Facebook and all that kind of stuff off your TV screen, not off your computer screen. You know, you're gonna sit with a laptop in your lap and you may be typing, but you're gonna be looking at your TV screen, which, which is where it's gonna be, be up there. That's gonna be a big change. The other change is in radio. You know, radio is dying. Um, yeah, I see you nodding your head. AM radio? Tell me, how many people listen to AM radio today? When I was a student here, there was a lot of AM radio. The mighty 1290, WIRC. There was one station that's gone off the air. Uh, chant the 1000 frequency, it's gone off. AM radio is dying. FM radio, who wants to listen to FM radio when you got your iPod, you plug in your iPhone into your radio, you got satellite radio being produced on every car in America right now that's being sold as satellite radio on it. If you're willing to pay the $12 a month, you get satellite radio, which is a lot better than regular radio. So radio is dying fast. The other thing that's happened in our industry is newspapers are dying. You know, um, newspapers are gonna start to go under big time. One of the reasons is, is that people of this generation that are in school right now do not read newspapers. They just don't do it. You know, I've got two professionals who are children. One is a psychologist, one works um, in the communications field. Neither one of them has a subscription to a newspaper. They read stuff online. They read it off the internet. You know, that's where, that's where it's all growing. But that actual physical newsprint newspaper, I'm afraid the days are numbered.